Yeah, hello. My name is Dieter Reuter. I'm from the Hyperia team. And uh, I'm, as a Docker captain, I would like to show you a small introduction. How to use Docker 112 in swarm mode on a small Raspberry Pi cluster. We do have here four um, of uh, these Raspberry Pis. It's in this case uh, Model 2. Uh, I already have installed Hybrid OS, the last latest version, and what I've done already is uh, I installed the latest release candidate of the 112, the 112 RC4. And right now I would like to show you how easy it is to set up a cluster. And therefore I just log in into the first uh, machine, just showing a Docker version so you can see we are running actually the 112. Yeah, here we go. And um, to initiate, to start a swarm cluster, I only have to provide one command on the master node. This is docker swarm init. And here we go. And in a few seconds, you will see the master node is up and running and we will get a uh, command how we can join the different uh, other nodes. Okay, we can, as we can see, our first uh, Swarm01 node is up and running. And now let's join. Here it is. Now this command is running on the second node, and in a few seconds it should be starting up. We can see it on the screen, on the Visualizer app. Okay, and it's green. On the next thing we can just join the third node. Uh, it takes a few seconds to load. Uh, here comes the third node in an undefined state, and as soon as it's active, we sh get a green light. And I would like to start it on the fourth as well. Okay. Now let's see. We have some details, I guess. Docker info on the master node shows us some information. The system is running and something we should see an information. Yeah, swarm mode is active and we do have about four nodes right now connected. Next thing is just we would like to list all the nodes in our cluster. That's the command docker node ls. And we have listed all our four nodes, and the swarm one is a leader, so that's our master node. Okay, now let's start some some containers as a service. Okay, Docker node service create dash dash name. We just use a ping service. I'm just starting a really small Alpine container with a ping service, and it says, okay, should work. And we can see it here on the graphics, one container is running in our cluster. The next thing is just we would like to list all the services we do have running in our cluster with a docker service ls command. And we do have exactly one container running. Or I can say with tasks the same service tasks. Oh, that was typo. Service task ping. It took a little bit to SSH into the machine, but here we go. Now let's scale up with Docker service update the ping service. Uh, 
and we now use a few replicas. Go up to four. Okay. And you can see we do have on every node it's a single serve is is a container running. So now we have our uh, service scaled up to to four replicas. Now I just go up to ten replicas. In a few seconds later, we should show up all the containers, and they are showing up. Here it is. Okay, and the same we can see. What about the tasks? The tasks are the current containers running. So we can also see it on the command line. They're running 10 different pin containers on all, uh, on different machines. Um, here on the Raspberry Pi cluster, we do have uh, the standard uh, Raspberry Pi Model 2 or Model 3 you can use. Uh, we just um, download uh, Hybrid OS from our website, uh, use our flash tool um, to flash it on your SD card. Just put in your SD card, uh, boot this guy up, and within about 30 seconds, um, the operating system is, is, is running, and uh, even the Docker uh, daemon is already pre-installed and, and it's ready to use. And I just uh, what I uh, what I already did is uh, just upgraded the the Docker engine to uh, 112 RC4 so that we can uh, show um, the new uh, Docker Swarm mode features and uh, build up on a complete cluster. So that was just a first and quick overview over uh, how to install a Swarm cluster, how to initialize it, and you can could see it's just a single command per node to join the cluster. And it's easy to start a service, to define a service, and to scale uh, these service tasks up to about a, a certain number. So that's pretty easy and neat. Okay, thanks.